And what's up everyone, welcome back to another video, it's me Eclipse and I'm going to be testing Komodo Client Security 12 against like all sorts of stuff. So first I'm going to do a link test, then I'm going to, you know, grab some unknown samples that I have and run them with Maltester, yeah. Now I'm going to also test some ransomers and then I'll explain a bit more about it. So yeah, I think I'm going to use Internet Explorer as well for this, so... Yeah, let's get this ready. Okay, let's get stuff ready. Um, so I'll leave this like that. And now let's talk this product. So it has main, main antivirus module. Then we have firewall, which is, you, you know, your basic intrusion system. Then we have auto containment, basically just restricts the file from running. Then we have HIPS, host intrusion prevention system. This is basically used to uh, warn on any like possible behavioral intrusions or like bad behavior of a file, like writing to protect its items or anything like that. So yeah, that's 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 HIPS. Have virus scope. This is dynamic and static analysis, which basically analyzes file dynamically. Then it uh, either publishes it or not. Basically, also rolling back changes everything that happens will not be apparent after the file is executed. I have website. This is the web shield and then DLP monitoring. This is data loss protection. This is, I think, pretty much only for client security 12 or endpoint pr protection. So with DLP monitoring, you can basically secure sensitive data and it's not going to get affected if you get like a bad infection or get data stolen you can block the request of you know anyone who's trying to steal your data this is pretty nice so i'm not actually seeing it in action yeah i'm gonna show off how this works and every and everything's gonna be explained in this video for that let's do a quick update to show you how that works so nothing really happened here because everything is up to date then of course here's our link so i've got a bunch today luckily it didn't just you know straight up not let me do it so i managed to get a few of these let's see let's run it run see what oh there we go i think it was blocked yeah it was most certainly blocked though for some reason i'm still not getting it. oh okay that's what i thought let's do this again I didn't get the notification for some reason. So it was blocked, but I did not get a notification. <clears throat> Let's keep going. It was also blocked. So that is nice. That's a block number two. Let's see. This one's pretty big. Okay, it was blocked as you can see by the containment. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> then we have some random address run this was blocked by the signatures then we have qqqq.exe this one was immediately detected so that is very interesting uh, it's not gonna let me because it was blocked by Komodo slash Excitium. Then we have cheesy zx.exe. Not sure what that one is. Let's run it. Was blocked. No idea. I don't always get the notification, so that's weird. Have Mysterium set up. Don't even know what that is. We'll see. Mysterium set up. Uh, allow. 
Oh, of course. It's probably Red Line Stealer. And I know the password, so... Yeah, that's a problem. This one's useless, then. I just used the most popular passwords, and none of those worked. So I said, let's run this. This was blocked. New order.exe. Definitely didn't order any malware. Void.exe. Not sure what this one is. Let's run it. Blocked. <clears throat> File sharing dot Africa. Not sure what this one is either. Coffee. They okay, run. Okay, that was blocked. Brrr, encrypted. Dot exe. Someone really went burr when they did this, huh? Not sure why it's going so slow, but something's happening. <laughs> what is this? Let's do this again. Why is it so slow? Is there anything like happening? Oh, it's dead now. Wow, it just died. So the website just died. That's awesome. That's no wonder then. Someone just killed the website as I'm testing it. Let's try this. Chrome.exe blocked. Support client. That might be like some remote access stuff. Okay, so this might actually be a rat, though I'm not sure what Excitium did about it. Okay, here we are with the Process Explorer, and yeah, I don't think there is click ones. I'm not sure what this is. Komodo, Komodo, nothing being going on. I asked TM agent, nothing. No, I generally don't see anything, you know. That thing did nothing, so Komodo actually did protect us. Chrome setup.exe, another really legit file. And it was blocked, of course. So that is a clean sheet in terms of website protection links. And now we're going to move to unknown malware. So give me a second for me to drag the malware in and actually get Maltester and everything running. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got the unknowns ready. Time to run Maltester. And then let's enable protection. There we go, and let's say yes. And we're gonna start running everything. I'm gonna put this over here. There we go. So yes, let's go. Okay, yeah, we're going really quickly again. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's going crazy, I know. We'll check our errors later. Oh, my ears. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Everything is getting blocked like crazy though. And a test is going pretty quickly actually. So that's very nice. Giving we have like 400, like almost 500 items. <clears throat> so that's a really good one. Nice, very nice speed. Also Sandbox is doing a great job. So far, nothing was missed, so that's great. OK, 
Okay, that was missed too. That wasn't missed. No misses. Still no misses, everything going smooth. What a melody! Damn. Okay, so... This was probably nothing, so there it is. Only that browser thing was not really blocked. However, as you can see, that it didn't do much and it just crashed, so I am guess I'm gonna call this one a clean sheet as well. Oh yeah, with that out of the way, I think this is very much noticeable how much things it just blocks right now. So that's really nice. 99.76, 100 in terms of overall. This one, where is it? Yeah, this one I'm not sure about, but I don't think it's actually malware malware, so I think I think it did really well. So let's just scan these. Oh yeah, this was only one was missed and it wasn't that severe either. So that's really good as you can see. <clears throat> now let's see what it says against this cuz it didn't delete this one yet. Okay, we have this running nothing really happening now let's run this one as well yeah it's doing something and everything's active so let's see probably was contained already okay let's see yeah it's it is definitely malware not sure what though what it's trying to do. This one was just killed. This one though still running. Pretty sure it was blocked already, so I'm not sure why. Service hose got killed. So let's see virus total. If it's gonna load. If you're going to load it on edge, it's going to be trash, so let me just copy the link in here. There we go. So this is the file. Yeah, it's ransomware, as I thought. Though nothing is nothing happened to any files, so I'm pretty sure this is just either not gonna do anything or just infinitely try. Though it's it's doing nothing. So w with that out of the way, I think it's fine for me to restart the computer and see how either. Excitium slash Komodo reacts or if the files are encrypted. So let's see what it happens on restart. I'll be back when it restarts. We're back and there seems to have been no modifications to any of these files. So we're completely safe once again. Let me just run this as administrator. My bad, I didn't do that the last time. So here we are. Sorry, that's a display adapter yet again. Now it's time for me to actually go ahead and grab some ransomwares as well because we're gonna be testing that as well. So let me pause protection for a second. And let me get the notifications active again because this keeps just disabling itself for some reason. Okay, anyways, it's mail tester time. I've got all of the samples ready and it's time to test. So. Let's enable the antivirus module. This doesn't work for some reason. You gotta go in here and then do it like this. There you go. And just yes.
this went very smoothly as well and we have once again a hundred percent detection ratio let's run this one too this was blocked sandbox and blocked let's try the JavaScript blocked let's try the installer okay blocked so yeah just everything getting blocked everything was just getting blocked so that's good let's try golden eye blocked let's try the screensaver blocked that's it that's a clean sheet with ransomware test what can I say this is really nice Seems to be nothing wrong. However, let's remove everything here. Let's remove these two things. <clears throat> let's check. Um, let's delete D control. So we're gonna not have any false positives. Let's move this up here. Let's empty the temp and everything and I'll be back. Okay, now it's time to run Hitman Pro and Zamana. All right, we got Zamana ready too. So we got Zamana ready and let's scan the computer with Zamana and Hitman Pro and see what they find. Scan now, scan now, there we go. And we'll see what happens. If there's anything detected, we're gonna be the first ones to see. So be right back with the results. Okay, so both products finished scanning and um, Hitman Pro somehow managed to find all of the files that were dropped in the net cache, though I don't think they're startup items, so they're just sitting there like deep in the system just doing nothing, so I'm pretty sure this is not too bad in terms of like if this thing was in memory though, this would have been an awful result, so this is just basically internet cache that Komodo slash Excitium didn't really clean. But other than this, I feel like it, we're completely fine. So, yeah, there's no threats. Like, everything is good. So with that out of the way, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you find this interesting. If you want to consider buying Komodo Client Security 12, I'll leave the link to the website in the description. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.